how bipolar transistors work. Let me show you. Transistors act as a smart resistor, so they will do whatever they can to keep the base emitter voltage stable around 0.7 volts. Look at this model. We have 3 volts at the base. Let's see what happens. My assumption is, if it's 3 volts here and we've got 0.7 drop, we should have around 2.3 volts at the emitter. So let's check it out. So we've got 3 volts at the base and yes, 2.31 at the emitter with 7 volts at collector. So let's see what changes when we swap that to 9 volts. Nothing changed. It's still 0.7 volts. So what happens? Transistor started regulating itself, its internal impedance to adjust to the environment. So the current flowing through the resistor is constant. This is how transistor works in a linear region. They will just keep their base emitter junction voltage constant unless they cannot. And this is also possible. Two other modes of operation. In cutoff, when the voltage at the base emitter junction is smaller than 0.7 volt, they are closed, they do not conduct any current. And in saturation, when the current withdrawn is physically the biggest current possible, so we cannot draw more current from the cores, let's say. And then the base emitter voltage can draw up to volts. This is how bipolar transistors work.